I've wasted too much time, Mom. You know, I've got to... i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Hey, loving someone is never a waste of time. Really? Because mm -hmm. I uh, don't have much to show for it. I know how you feel now, but think about this. Maybe you were so devoted to John that you... you lost track of yourself in the process. You never did that? Oh, sure, when I was very young, yeah. But not for a long time. Because I have so much. You know, I have your children, I have the banner, I have my grandchildren. I have my charity commitments in the hospital. The thing is, Clint knew that I was not going to make him my only priority. Dorian's going to do that for now. <laughs> for now, until she gets bored, and then that'll be the end of that. But for now, that's fine, you know. And he's all hers. I think he's making a huge mistake. But he doesn't. He will. As soon as he gets his head out of the sand. Because some other guy's going to come along and snap you up. And Poor dad. Huge idiot's going to be all out of luck. Does the idiot have time for a cup of coffee? Well, I shouldn't have called you an idiot, but it, it doesn't change the fact that I can't believe what you're doing. The coffee's right here in the pot. You want some, you can help yourself. Ah, uh, thank you. You know, as much as I'd like to be adored by my children, I realize that you do have your own opinions. Natalie, darling, why don't you go get your things? We have to leave for the courthouse in a minute. Sure, Mom. Good. She is a Buchanan to a fault. She never pulls her punches. For a couple more weeks, if you want me to, and, uh, you know, at least until you get me replaced. Now, look, I'm not worried about replacing you. I'm worried about you. Don't be. This is what I need to do. Uh, Nat, you know, and you understand, once, once you quit... You may not be able to bring me back. I know. And I won't want to come back. Are you sure this is in your best interest? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, come on. You're quitting because of John. When I come up with fake excuses for things, haven't I always been pretty straight with you? Yes. Yes. But I just think that sometimes we don't know when we do certain things. I, and I thought I'd point it out. OK, but I don't need anybody to point anything out to me. I've thought about this a lot. Look, OK, I, I admit. The thought of working with John every single day wasn't thrilled about it. But I resent the fact that you think that I wouldn't stick it out. I mean, that hurts, Bo. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shortchange you, that. This is about a whole lot more than running into John McBain every day. This is about the rest of my life. What do you want to do now? I know what I don't want to do. I don't want to waste any more time, you know, sitting around here shoveling papers and, and answering the phone. And I blew it with the forensics program, so my opportunity, my opportunities here are challenged, to say the least. That's why I want out. See, I, I wish I could convince you to wait just a little bit longer. You can't. And I wouldn't change my mind, either. Okay, then. Um... All you have to do is fill this out, uh, fill out your desk, and go. I miss you around here. I'm gonna miss this place, but I'm especially gonna miss you. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Oh, don't tell me you've been fired. Quit. About time. We're better than this place. You are better than this job. This is something that I always knew about you, Matt. Yeah. Okay. What? You're telling me you have some sort of doubt? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could just um, go back to school and I could become a nuclear physicist. Wait, no. <laughs> I don't know anything about quantum mechanics. I know. I'll go to Juilliard. I'll become a concert pianist. Oh, oh, no, no, I don't know how to read music. You know, that's real funny. So this is 
your way of telling me that you do not have another job. You're very perceptive. Good. Great. I'm happy that you do not have another job. Okay, Nat. You have your whole future ahead of you. Once you set your mind to something, you can do whatever you want. Look at you. You're young. You're ambitious. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. And you're talented. You know what? You're right. You're right, Vincent. And you're just giving me an idea. Good. Take your idea and make it yours. Damn right. Uh, I hope you're here when I get back. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Uh, did you hear the good news about Jamie? The doctors told us she's fine. She's out of danger. Oh, that's that's great. That's great news. And how about you? Me? I'm I'm great. I'm very happy for Jamie. Although I'm still pissed at you for hurting mom. But that's not why I'm here. I need to speak with Grandpa. Alone, if you don't mind. What do you want to talk to me about? Well, I've decided to quit my job at the police station. Mm -hmm. And I want to come work for you at BE. Really? It's <laughs> the second best good news I've heard today. <laughs> Let's make you the Buchanan you were meant to be. <laughs> <laughs>